with our vaccination rates that we have and the people who the large numbers of natural immunity, you've got to figure we're approaching 70, 80% of Americans have are probably have immunity to this, to this pathogen at this point. I'm just guessing. Yeah. No, I think that's a, such an important point what you just said, because somehow this natural immunity is not getting into our calculations sometimes. <laughs> right. And so the paper will say, you're, oh, only 43% of people are vaccinated. And then that sounds so dismally low. Um, but that is, uh, doesn't account for the fact that natural immunity is a thing. I mean, if we didn't have natural immunity, we'd all be um, deceased by now, um, you know, just from, from infections. I mean, we do mount immunity to pathogens that we've seen. And, and actually the, the immunology research on this virus shows really good immunity uh, gets, uh, is developed with natural infection. So it is kind of an addition of both those things. And we don't know the exact number because we don't know the exact number of people who've been infected, but I think your, your calculation of 80% is right. And that's the thing that's frustrating the most is because I have a number of nurses who've, who've been infected and they're compelled to get vaccinated because of, you know, either rules in the hospital by put forth by the state or by the hospital, or, you know, just, you can't walk around without a mask because you've not been vaccinated, but they went through COVID or they had it. I mean, there's, they had documented proof that they, they cleared it six months ago, three months ago, whenever, and they're compelled to get the, get the vaccine. And I, it doesn't make any sense to me why we're, why we're pushing that because I, I feel like we've had a number of studies now that have pretty definitively shown that the, the immunity is at least as good, if not better than it is with the vaccine, which is, I guess, not surprising, but it seems that I just don't understand why there's this push from the CDC and from government leaders, except that they can't quantify exactly how many people have immunity, right? Like if you have vaccine, you know, oh, it's been, I know exactly it's yeah. 48% or whatever, but uh, it just seems it, it's, it just saddens me because I feel like we're putting people at risk 